it's Heather Smith here and I'm going to talk about the working capital to total assets uh, ratio. You can find it on uh, the reports dashboard, look for business performance and then scroll all the way down to the bottom right side here and we have working capital to total assets. It is a uh, 12 month graph here and if you don't hover on it, um, it gives you the average for the, tw top t the 12 months the last 12 months in the top right corner and if you do hover around it you can see what the individual months uh, reflect. Uh, top right uh, click on the star and this graph in a tiny version will appear on your home dashboard and if we drill in we can see some further information here. This is um, explaining how easily can I pay my bills and it has the equation uh, working capital to total assets percentage equals net working capital. It has a split down of the net working capital there divided by total assets. It's uh, split down here by months. You can hover over each month noting that uh, it will change the calculation there and you can drill down or you can scroll down and see further insights below. Um, so the working capital to total assets ratio is uh, the ability to cover short-term financial obligations. So by comparing the total current assets to your total assets. So this uh, ratio is, is a liquidity indicator. Um, you would look at the trend over time. So you can see the trend has kind of gone from negative to positive. So I, that, that's sounding good. Um, a low or decreasing ratio would suggest that the liabilities were too high. So here the liabilities may have been too high and they uh, may need to be reviewed.